Holy cow! Welcome back folks, this was a quick change of events. Yesterday it was pretty nice out. Yesterday it went from being sunny and green to a winter wonderland. It's November, we got a foot of snow last night and we got more snow coming. Today's video is a little bit different. This is the first time I've ever done this here on this channel. Only the second time I've ever done this in my life. Today is opening day of gun season. Actually yesterday was opening day, but I am going out with a shotgun to try and hunt a deer. Now, typically I don't like shotgun hunting. I don't really love shooting deer with guns, but there's been this target buck at my uncle's property that I've really, really, really been trying to get my hands on. And every time I've gone out with the bow, I can't get this deer any closer than like 65 yards. With that being said, we're gonna try and take her down today, or him down today, her, her don't make sense because it's, it's, a, it's a boy. We're gonna take it down today if we see it with a shotgun. It's not my ideal choice being a sportsman, but a lot of people do it, so I don't know why I'm even complaining. Today could be crazy. Could be crazy or I might just get stuck and not even leave my driveway. I don't freaking know to be honest with you guys, but we're gonna try to put a dirt in the freezer. We slang them, bang them, and put them down, baby! Yeah! guys update for you guys from the GoPro I've been up in the tree for about two hours now it's getting a little chilly I haven't seen anything but I'm not giving up hope these deer got to come out they got to come out I mean usually they get up and they start moving in this stuff so hopefully they make their way my way because there's some big deer on this property guys I don't have any video or pictures but if I did you would you would pull a brick because there is like a really big like 160 inch deer I've been chasing from this property and I've been trying to keep it a secret but I'm just gonna give you guys a secret if you watch this video you'll know but I may not shoot it I may I don't know six hours later alrighty folks I know this video hasn't been too eventful but we were out of the stand. Honestly, I froze my butt off for four and a half hours. Didn't see a single deer. The snow just got more and more nuts. I mean, we're, we're coming up on like almost a foot and a half right now, which to some of you may not seem like a lot, but I mean, it's just a blizzard. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. So the whole, the whole drive home was just people on the side of the road and ditches and everything like that. So I know it wasn't too eventful, but a lot of you guys were leaving down in the comment section from the last video or two videos ago when I was making the deer steaks. A lot of people wanted me to make a video on how I cook deer jerky. Now ironically, that same day we were actually prepping deer jerky and I never got around to actually putting it in the dehydrator. So Roman brought over some of his deer steaks and we marinated a ton of deer steak to go directly into the dehydrator to make some deer jerky. So now I can't give you guys a full like in-depth tutorial because we kind of already did everything. What? Uh, yeah, Ginger just threw it. Our walkie's falling apart back here. I gotta bring the nail gun home and, and get everything done. It's just, dude, it's so bad. Like, it's like so loose. It literally just falls apart. Anywho, so this is what I do. I can't give you, like I said, I can't give you an in-depth tutorial on how we do it because honestly, I don't do anything special. I go to my local outfitter by me and just buy these jerky packets. This is High Mountain Seasonings is the brand. We use the jalapeno blend. That one is super, super good. We use this uh, peppered 
and or pepper garlic one that's also really good. But I actually think we did Cajun. Do you remember yeah, which one's did, which though? Is this one the Cajun? That one looks Cajun. That's definitely Cajun. You can just tell from the color. That's what I'm thinking. That's cool. the jalapeno. So essentially all you do is you buy this little kit. It comes with a scooper and it comes with little salt pepper shakers. You'll get like a seasoning like this and then you'll get cure and it actually has a bunch of recipes. But I, I honestly just, just free ball the whole thing. Like we just sent it with whatever. So we have our jerky pieces here here and uh, we got to move it to the dehydrator. I'll show you guys how I do that in case you're curious. All right, so I got this on Amazon. It, it was literally 50 bucks, like 49.99. If you guys want one, I'll leave the link in the description below if they still exist. But I bought this dehydrator off Amazon and it was just cheap and it does, it does the job. I mean, I've never had any issues with it. It's essentially like five different layers. And all you do here is you take it apart it has these trays in the bottom, to be honest with you. I don't really know what these are for. Just I like think third or something. That, I don't know. I, no, they're the actually plug. no, they're made to go on the shelf like this. Oh. I'm thinking it's for some of them so, so the seasoning stick. doesn't fall through or so it doesn't stick, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. To me it just seemed kind of weird to have like plastic in a thing that heats, but then the whole thing's made out of plastic. Yeah, so literally the trays I don't know. I don't ever use them, but honestly it's probably so you don't have to like clean it. Okay. So essentially all we do here is we Man, dude, this stuff is like, is it frozen? I mean, we kind of forgot about it for an extra 24 hours. Yeah, I mean, was it really this small? Did you cut it this small? Dude, I kind of just did everything. I can tell. Stuff. I, I went up and I was editing a video while he did this. Well, typically you want to cut longer pieces, but I mean, hey, these will work. Jerky's jerky at the end of the day, so. That's kind of awkward. All right, folks, well, Roman and Ash are the phone call, and he's currently filming for me because my hand's... Which is funny because this is your jerky. We're actually making the jerky mainly for him and I'm over here doing the work, <laughs> but I'm just showing you guys. So essentially all you do is you lay out the jerky pieces. We uh, took deer steaks and when I say deer steaks, usually they come from like, I believe the shoulder and like, it's kind of like stuff like that. This, this is the cut that you wouldn't, it's not back strap. Like it's not the cut that you would use to eat like a, a fillet. Yeah, it it's comes like, off the thighs yeah, and the shoulders. I mean, it, well, it's, it's like the strip steak. So mm -hmm. like this is the kind of steak that, yes, you could eat it like a normal steak, but a lot of people will make like fajitas or I make fajitas a lot with it and just kind of dice it up. Or if you're making uh, something that would just require little bits of steak, this is usually a good way to go. The reason it's used for jerky and stuff is it, it, it tends to be a little bit tougher. You know, tenderloin, which is like the back strap is a lot more tender, hence the name tenderloin. <laughs> but makes sense. Yeah. So. I, I usually try to space it out in the dehydrator. Like you don't want to condense the meat too much because the less airflow, the longer it's going to take and not every piece is going to be the same. But in this case, I don't want to mix everything up. So we're kind of going to just, I wouldn't recommend making it this. Yeah, I want to say that's like whatever, that's but it should be all right. Got it, because I mixed it in the black bowl first and it was jalapeno and then on the occasion. So that sounds about right. All right, so we're just going to wing it and pretend that this is going to this smells like Cajun. So, unfortunately, you guys aren't gonna be able to see the finished product. I'm gonna to have to show it in a different video because this is gonna take about three and a half hours to dehydrate and actually create the jerky. And I gotta upload this video and it's already, why does my oven always blink like that? Like, does someone well, unplug Well, because the power went out, dude. Everything, everyone lost. It went out? Yeah, even we lost oh, power. Oh, see, I've right been now. in a tree for the but last. Today's been like an, oh, SOL We lost power? Day. Wow. Dude, half the, half my customers like canceled today because they like, lost power. They got no heat, no that's nothing. That's crazy. It's so funny. I've been sitting out in the woods. So like, yeah, I, you I don't, don't know you what's, don't know going, what's on. going on. So that's really about it. We put the jerky in there. Now it's going to take about three and a half hours to form. So I'll show you guys the jerky maybe tomorrow in a different video. But at this point, I got to get to editing. I know today's video, really nothing happened. It wasn't too exciting. There was nothing to see. I did plan on going through my trail cam and showing you guys what was going on at the property but somebody over here didn't grab the uh, sd card on his way over like he was supposed to so uh, unfortunately you gotta blame him for that but uh, i don't really know let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see now that i'm doing everyday uploads um do you like the hunting videos better do you like the fishing video actually i can't fish right now so i don't i'm not even gonna bring up fishing fishing i would love to get out there but to be honest with you, it sounds like we're going to be ice fishing pretty soon. The way the weather's yeah, looking here Michigan, by me. Here we yeah, we're either going to take a trip out to Michigan or maybe just do something here in Ohio if the weather continues to stay cold. So I'm going to eat my bibimbap.
and uh, play some ping pong with the boys and hang out. So hope everybody had a good day. Hopefully some of you guys aren't snowed in like I am. And uh, I don't know. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. I'll see you next time.